This will be a reading where we focus on what your energy would like to say to you, but isn't. I was laughing to myself. Because what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, you got something to say, why don't you say it? <laughs> uh, but I know how people's is. They keep their feelings within. So let's try to peek through the blinds of this person on your mind. That isn't saying it, but they're feeling it. I want to know, what, what are they feeling? What are they thinking? What's going on in their weirdo brains? <laughs> Why? Why won't you share with me? Okay, let's see. What, let's, let's peek through the blinds of the person on your mind. I want to know what are they thinking and feeling that they're not expressing, verbalizing. So tell me. Tell me, please, something. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. That's uh, work. That's the work. Work. <laughs> oh, oh, they're feeling a lot. A lot came out here. I see the world. I see the Ten of Cups. I see the Page of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Sun. The Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords. Oi. Oh my gosh. What is this person feeling that they are not saying? <sighs> okay. Okay. So, this was uh, the first card that came out. It's the Eight of Pentacles. This energy, this person, they're like, this is work. <laughs> this is work. This is work. We put a lot of work into this. I'm feeling that right now in this reading, this card is saying that this energy feels like there's a lot of work for this. Okay? You resonate, you resonate. Feeling like it's work. The Knight of Wands is my impulsive, my impulsive knight. Fiery. Ten of Swords is feeling betrayed. Queen of Wands. Sometimes, sometimes I call her the witch. Like, you know, the witch. The witch woman. In a negative or a positive uh, way. Um, but I feel like in this. I don't know what's going on. Is this, is this masculine energy caught between two passionate feminines? Um, one might be older. Than the other. And I just say that because I have a knight and a queen. The queen is going to be more mature and older. And then I see this nine of pentacles. Which is my independent energy. My energy that's content in their independence. Financially stable. Doesn't need any of the energies. Is very, very happy. They're very happy in their independence. Holding their coin there. I think they have an owl or something, if that means anything to you. Some sort of bird. I can't really see its face. Like, like that bird's trying to take that coin. And this energy's like, no, nah, that's mine, bitch. <laughs> Where you going? That's my money. Um, I'm getting the feels that we might be peeking in on someone that's caught between two energies. And if it's not saying one is older, then one is more mature. And both both are very passion-driven with this knight, uh, ener knight energy. I mean, sorry, wand energy. And then there's this knight of cups to the sun, this five of pentacles. I mean, these three cards here, oi vey. I mean, these three cards here, what a kerfuffle. These three cards here... I mean, even look at the ex the posture and the facial, like, we can't see the faces in any of these cards, okay? It's like the faces are hidden. Here, this person is like, almost in a fetal position, just drowning in the sorrow. In this card, the Nine of Swords, this is like, being in a nightmare. This person, 
could represent trouble sleeping, like legit being in a nightmare about about the situation. And this is my sne- If you watch my readings, you know how I feel about the Seven of Swords. It's a liar, a thief. Uh, it's a sneaky, sneak. I call it the Sneaky Seven. So, but then before it, these two cards. I mean, this is like the happiest. This is the Sun card, the happiest card in the deck. If you watch Tarot, you've heard them say that before. You'll hear them say it again. Uh, this Sun card. I mean, this energy in this card is just like drowning in the new day. I, f I feel like saying, uh, just the, the, is looking at nothing but the, but the light, but the goodness. And here, this Knight of Cups, this represents a message of, of love. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is for, if you're finding this, if you're resonating, I don't know if you are this energy, this energy, or this energy. I feel that this Ten of Swords represents the person that we're peeking in on, how they might even feel like they betrayed their own happiness by putting themselves in what seems to be a three-party situation. Um, I don't know if the fact that the person in this card is facing this Queen of Wands, the way this Queen of Wands is looking, and the, I almost want to say, my gut tells me that the person that we're peeking in on might be leaning towards, if they're choosing between two people, leaning towards the Queen of Wands, as opposed to their the, this Knight of Wands. This could be suggesting that they're going towards the energy that is financially more independent. I just felt like saying that uh, because this is a nine of pentacles, although it represents it represents the energy that is content in its independence. That, like I said earlier, doesn't need any. Not only doesn't need another person, masculine or feminine, to fulfill them emotionally, because they're quite content and happy, as they are. But they're financially able to hold their own, okay? That's what this card is about. Someone that's financially stable. Even in this card, I'll say, like, separate from a love reading, just, you know, just the Eight of Pentacles in itself is the card of work. Something that we put a lot of work, time, effort, that we've watched already build and grow. And I feel like this is representing how the person we're peeking in on is viewing the situation, which is it's work. Like this is work right now for them. Uh, so if you if you haven't heard from them, if they're not as communi like communicating in a way that like you're used to or they normally would, it could be because they are focusing on what they want to put work into. Uh, if they're caught between two energies, if you're the energy resonating with this, like you are the person caught between, then maybe that's how you'll resonate. I'm feeling like this is suggesting that the person I'm peeking in on has made a decision about the happiness, like what is going to fulfill them towards the new day of complete bliss, happiness. The sun is about, sometimes they say the Leo energy, but that's mostly because like everything revolves around the sun. It's like all about them. Um, this could be saying that their choice is all about them and their happiness, what fulfills them. Um, but I feel this is saying that the person I'm peeking in on, which is also this energy here, I feel that, is deciding, like, the path they want to take, with and with who. And I feel, I'm feeling like it's this 
queen of wands energy because even it's like this this flame in the hand this orangey glow flame of light it's like this the sun in this card as well as this energy facing her um and i'm feeling like this was representing how the energy f the person feels that they know they're leaving someone in the cold they're hurting someone by doing this it actually is making them lose sleep they're in a nightmare about it they don't like the way they feel and they feel like they've been sneaky or if this is like cuz i'm not feeling that this is married people that it, Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't fit for you, maybe it's for someone else. But if you're resonating so far, I feel like this might be like a situation where I don't know if these energies necessarily know about one another, but I don't feel like it was imperative that they do. I just think that maybe each feels very passionately about the person I'm peeking in on. Or, you know, it's definite, It's not some fly-by-night thing. These are relationships, okay? I wasn't feeling like marriage. Um, not that, but this person feels like they're either going to be a white liar, because this card for me is sometimes straight-up liar, schemer, he's sometimes a thief, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sometimes it represents for me a person that feels like they can't be bluntly honest, that they can't be really honest. Maybe they feel like they can't be honest at all with the energy that they're going to walk away from. Because um, I'm feeling like the energy didn't do anything bad to them. So, you know, they know they're going to hurt the energy. They know... They know that whoever they're walking away from is going to be feeling left in the cold by their choice to not be with them. They might, and they might, they might not say to them, yeah, like, I can't date you anymore because I'm getting into something. These two energies, this could be, like, a couple that was on and off again, or you know, maybe was together in the past and got back together recently or was dating for a while. And the other energy is a newer person, like a newer in the life of this person I'm peeking in on energy that, yeah, all right, if that resonates, not for everyone, but I was just feeling that, like, it, it, this person may have not, like said, you know, I'm in a, I've been dating someone else. Like they might have met this energy and it just felt super comfortable. Like this person is so like carefree and passionate and sexy in this card. So like there was an attraction. There was like a fire, a fire in the belly, fire in the belly. I wanted to ride that horse. That wild looking horse. Um, and here in the world, that's like the new beginning, okay? That's like a completion, a new beginning. Under that, the Ten of Cups. To this. So, like, I really feel like whoever we're peeking in on, if you're this energy and you're resonating, I feel like they, everyone has free will. I usually say, I try to always say, in relationship readings and most readings, there's a happy ending to be had, if that's what the two energies involved desire and work on, because relationships are work. But I'm feeling, if you're resonating with the this energy, I feel like this person is going towards this and wants an actual new beginning and a relationship. Like, to me, this is a committed relationship of cups. Yes. And they're going to come with a message. The Page of Swords is the message of the love. Um, I feel that they will come to you with this message. And that's what this is saying. And um, if you're this energy, sorry, this sucks for you. I mean, again, uh, I'm such a douche. I shouldn't have said it like that. That's mean. If you're resonating with this, if you're this energy, you're probably like, yeah, that's right. This was my, my situation. I put work into this and such. 
Um, yeah, if you're this energy and you're resonating, look, anything can happen. I'm not, you know, I'm just telling you what the cards say and what I feel. Um, I don't know, like, do either of you want a person that maybe was seeing two people at the same time? Because that's what was happening here. <laughs> uh, this, If this isn't representing an older, like that one person is actually a little younger than the other, this could just represent that this Queen of Wands knew that their person was seeing other people. And it wasn't like a big, not that it wasn't a big deal, but, you know, was aware. Like, had the Queen, for me, has more knowledge, more awareness more literal knowledge than the knight. So it could be representing the person I'm peeking in on. You know, yeah, you was there. I said it. All right, guys, that's what I see there. Um, if you want to support what I do, like the video. Leave a comment if you want to make a request of a certain type of video. You want to see specific zodiac signs, uh, love readings, career, whatever. Um, trending topics, people, if you want to buy me a coffee, or if you would like to contact me for a personal reading, which I love doing, by the way. Um, all that info is in my description. All right, guys, God bless. See you next time.